Hi friends, Craig from the Barefoot Forge here with Weld.com and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of this new machine from our friends over at AHP. This is the new AlphaMig 190MP. It's a dual voltage multi-process machine that should be a great MIG welder, DC TIG welder, and stick welder. Let's see what it can do. There's a lot of different colors and flavors available in the welding world these days. Today's flavor is yellow. We're gonna be reviewing this AlphaMig 190MP made by our friends over at AHP. It comes with separate TIG gas and MIG gas inlets so that you can actually have your regulators and hoses set up to your different gases at all times. No need to externally switch it. That's kind of a cool feature I've never seen before. Comes with one of these fancy regulators that has the ball that goes up like one of those asthma tests. Apparently I'm argon. We're just gonna use our adjustable wrench with the bottle opener on the back to tighten everything up. We'll set it up as a MIG welder. This unit here has got the same dual wheel drive system you see on fancier high-end welders of all the different colors. You'll see it's all made of aluminum and steel, no plastic bits to really wear out, so that's pretty top notch. The drive rollers that are included can run either 030 solid core wire or 023 solid core wire. If you wanna run some 035 or you wanna get into the gasless flux core stuff, they've got different drive rollers for that too. This is a really top quality unit. Let's see how it does. If we want to convert it to one 10 volt machine, all we got to do is take this bad boy and put it into this bad boy. Well, bam, now we can run it off standard household electricity. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I've got it set at 18 volts and uh, 200 inches per minute running 110 volt electricities. And I'm gonna weld a couple of coupons together made out of the 11 gauge material. We're grounded to the table. The table's a uh, nice new welding table, weldtables.com. And let's see what we got. Here we go. Well, so far I've just tacked it, but it does work. Let's see what we can do. For a first weld, I'm pretty happy with that. It's, uh, it's certainly spooling out real consistently. That's very nice. Let's do some welding. I'm pretty happy with that. That is laying down some nice beads. Let's try that one more time. This machine's capable of running both eight inch and four inch spools. So you can run your day-to-day -day wire for your day-to-days, but then, you know, Sometimes you need that special occasion, that going out wire. And you can get a much smaller spool of that specialty stuff for those times where you wanna weld some silicone bronze or some stainless or something like that. Then you just re-spool it on your little four inch spool. Another feature of this machine, you can actually weld aluminum with it. You could attach a spool gun, it's an optional accessory. It's spool gun ready for all your multi-process needs. But there's also this other slick thing you can do. They have a, uh, a specialty liner you can buy that just replaces the liner in the stock gun with a special extra slippery one. It only costs a couple bucks and then you can run aluminum through this machine without a spool gun. That's a pretty slick feature. It's got these nice quick connects. That's pretty slick. That is pretty, pretty slick. I'm just gonna go ahead and take welds and stuff together. We'll melt some stuff and it'll be fun for all of us. Boy, does that thing weigh down the boogie. Woo, she's a peach.
talked a little bit about my favorite feature, which is how easily this switches from a MIG welder to a TIG welder or vice versa. We do need to clarify that in order to do that safely, you need to be isolating this MIG gun. If you're not going to take the MIG gun off completely, which is a great option, um, you need to make sure that this can't arc out to your workpiece. So you want to put something over that that's going to protect it. Well, we played around a little with the MIG and the TIG. It's time to talk a little bit about the sticks, you know? This can stick weld basically any rod other than 6010, and it can weld up to 8th inch thick rods on 220 volt. You get a 25% duty cycle at 160 amps, so it puts out pretty good power. It's a pretty compact little unit overall. Uh, this would be great for home shop, doing some auto body stuff. You can move it around as you need to. And when you do need to build that thick bridge or repair that piece of heavy equipment, you can plug it into the 240 and really crank up them amps. But for most things, 110 volt is going to be fine. 030 wire is going to be fine. This thing's going to zip zap together everything you need in your life. It's a pretty versatile little machine, to be honest. It's pretty portable. That's kind of nice. The dual voltage aspect is real sweet. The high frequency start on DC TIG, whew, big fan of that. That's a very, very nice feature. Overall build quality is real nice. I really like that you don't have to take the MIG stuff off to use the TIG stuff, including the gas. Um, that's pretty impressive. This is a really capable machine. It's great for average user, blacksmith like myself, hobbyist, mechanic, any of those people, because when you need to crank up the amps and build a bridge or repair a crane that broke down in your yard, um, this can do it. But when you need to just fix some sheet metal on your car or build a picture frame, this can also do it on 110 volts or TIG welding or whatever. We just TIG welded on 110 volt. And it was really quite nice. You can also run this off a generator. Um, I think it needs to be about an 8,000 watt generator, but it's got to have that pure power. But you can run this off a generator. These inverter machines are pretty slick in that regard. Having gone through all that, I think we should start working on a little bit of a project. Let's make something. We've got a good project today. A uh, farmer up the street got us some metal and a very crudely drawn drawing so that we could make him a uh, kind of like a table to build a pizza oven on top of. It's just a frame, a lot of squares, and he, uh, he got it all drawn up and cut for us, so it should be pretty easy. Laying down some boogie. That's a good start at least. That's pretty nice. We'll settle for that. Hey, I'm pretty happy with that weld. That'll do. Well, I think it's time for me to quit for the day. And I say that because I definitely did this wrong. Well, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to go over there. Or maybe this was supposed to go inside of this. Anyway, I'm just looking at it and it's definitely wrong, which means it's definitely time for me to quit. The machine never quit on me though. That machine did pretty awesome today. I'm very impressed with this. That AHP machine, it's a pretty good multi-process machine. I definitely really excited to uh, use it a whole bunch more. Two months later. Well, I've had this machine for about two months now, and I've really put it through its paces. We've been using it a lot in our introductory blacksmithing classes, and people have been very impressed with it. The thing I'm most impressed with is the way this moves from MIG to TIG. This is slick. This does some things that I haven't really seen on any comparable machines yet. Because it's got the two gas ports on the back, and because you can uh, switch it over to a TIG welder while leaving all the MIG welder stuff set up, it's literally as easy as turning on the other gas and pushing the button. It's been feeding out very nicely. It hasn't burned through any tips or anything like that. It really makes a nice consistent weld. We've been running it on 110 volt. We have had to run it on 220 once to weld something pretty thick in it. Oh, she powers up like a dream. Haven't had any clogs, any issues at all, to be perfectly honest. This has been the most reliable machine we've used in the last couple of months. You know, it's just a good machine. It lays down beautiful welds, it works consistently, and I really think the features are pretty slick. The high frequency start, all the other uh, multi-process machines we have that we use in classes here have been um, lift start or similar. 
and the result is it's always been really hard to teach the TIG aspect of things. This has been really easy. We've started moving towards this machine for that. Uh, teaching them how to use the trigger is a little confusing. I'm used to a foot pedal. I can add a foot pedal to this. I haven't yet, but that high frequency start makes TIG welding more approachable, easier to learn, well, more fun, frankly. There's a lot of colors out there. There's a lot of colors to choose from. I'm pretty impressed by yellow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm Craig from the Barefoot Forge. You can find me and my content on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever. And uh, you know, this is weld.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, go over to the weld.com app where you can see professionals and people like me talk about stuff. There's all kinds of great resources on the Weld app. It really is a purpose-built community for welding. So head over to the weld.com app. You'll find more content like this. I hope you enjoy it.